Dave, I'm breaking us out of here! It's no use! It's impossible! We can't win! I don't believe in the no-win scenario! <laughs> In the name of the Emperor, it's impossible! That's right, assholes! We're free now! We're taking the fight to you! Double fist punch! They can't be stopped! Quickly, activate the agonizers! I, I can't find the controls! Looking for this? I jacked it from you when we were tussling, and we placed the two agonizers onto the two of you! Agonizers, activate, bitch! Whoa, the pain! The agony! Ah. All right, Father, that's enough. Seems like we've got plenty of stuff to talk about. And you, we'll stop agonizing you if you beam us back to our ship. All right, but we're not going to forget this. You haven't seen the last of us. Computer, beam these two back to the Starship Texas. <laughs> Welcome back to the Mirror Universe. Hi. So, our last encounter with the Prime Universe did not go as planned. They, they tricked us. It's the only way that they could possibly have defeated our own guile. <laughs> yeah, so it's not often that the glorious soldiers of the Terran Empire are outfoxed. But we will have our vengeance. In one day. Indeed. But in the meantime... Our Prime Universe counterparts have attempted to broker a peace with us. Soft-hearted, naive whelps. Weak and feeble as they are. Still, I am curious. <laughs> Yeah, so we are participating in the Prime Universe tradition of an uh, archaic Earth holiday known as Christmas. <laughs> or, as we call it here in the Mirror Universe, Krampusnacht. It's the celebration of the great hero, Ebenezer Scrooge. Yes, long may he reign. And also the birth of the Antichrist. Yes. <laughs> oh, and Krampus too. Yes. But we have received a Christmas gift, a Star Trek mis mission crate from Loot Crate, whatever the hell that is on your Prime Universe. Some sort of foolish Terran gift-giving service. And another foolish Prime Universe activity is called the unboxing video. <laughs> Why unbox something when you could be slitting throats? I don't know. but. We're going to participate just this one time. I am curious as to what they sent us. Um, so, so we're going to take them out one by one, check them for traps, see how they could be used to bludgeon, and uh, what other uh, violent capabilities they have. Yes, and, and review it all for you. All right, let's give, at last, the mirror perspective on the Star Trek loot crate. This is really quite exciting. So, we have a cardboard box. There is a scrawl up written upon it. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Boo! What? The Enterprise is supposed to be a warship. It's five-year mission to explore strange new worlds. Explore! Why not just conquer them and take their resources? To seek out new life and new civilizations? And conquer them? No, it just simply says... It just ends? It says to boldly go where no one has gone before. Oh my god. Well, this is off to a terrible start. <laughs> yeah, so far this thing sucks. It's, a, it's basically a propaganda crate. <laughs> well, wait. So. But now there's there's a much more colorful interior. Let's give them their first glimpse at its, at its booty. This is the, what you can expect. And it looks like we have a, a filthy Klingon. I sure hope they never get uh, really up in our face. Look at this non-human scum. 
let me see this non-human scum. My uh, visor to uh, to keep out to keep my light-sensitive mirror eyes uh, uh, intact makes it hard to see. Huh? He does have a certain warrior's countenance. I would face this one in battle. It appears to be a uh, some sort of being called a wharf. Yeah. Uh, he does look like a worthy foe. Let's carve open his box and see what he looks like. Rip, it ripped out like a beating heart, my brethren. All right. Mm. While you show off his uh, uh, ample form, I will take out his some sort of small boomerang type weapon, uh, sharp and uh, I'm not sure what you would do with something like that. It doesn't appear to be. Anything. I would pick my teeth with that. You see if you can get it. Apparently his weapon is supposed to snap simply into his hands. But it's not so simple after all. Perhaps this is where the Terrans of the Prime Universe spring their trap. Uh, show off this uh, battle figurine, uh, my, my fellow mirror brother. They claim this to be part of a master series of figurines. Some form of limited edition from the Deep Space Nine. What relevance could that name have? I don't know. Uh, there's a biography of this wharf character on the side. Born in 2340. Some future warrior. Um, we should take this information into account and see if we can use it to destroy him before he's ever born. Yes, yes. The Klingons must be conquered and subjugated for the glory of the Terran Empire. Will it not be humorous that an action figure was their downfall? <laughs> 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 On to the next one. So, here we have... Ah! More Klingon filth! It's a Klingon badge! What sort of propaganda is this? I will hang this on the corpse of my dead Klingon enemies! Do you think it is perhaps some morning that we should anticipate an uprising of the Klingons? Is it even possible for such a cowardly race? That is not likely. <laughs> Nevertheless... I will say this of it. It uh, it has a certain heft to it. Uh, it's uh, three pronged with a uh, in, in the style of their their weak design, and yet they are sharp on each end. It could slit a throat in a pinch, uh, uh, crush uh, crush a man's skull if delivered with enough force. It uh, has a certain aesthetic appeal if you're a weak Klingon. What else do we have? Even more Klingon filth. It's a pair of Klingon socks. As I understand, part of the Christmas tradition is that men receive a lot of socks this time of year in the Prime Universe. Is it to use to strangle one's opponent? I think it's used to keep their puny weakling feet warm. <laughs> Those fools. Here in the Mirror Universe, our feet are always warm and we always keep the temperature hot. Yes, warm with the blood of our enemies. Yes. If I could, I'd soak my feet in warm blood every day. Let me look at those socks, though. Is there anything we can do with this? Uh, we could fill it with dung. Uh, that would uh, send the proper message to the Klingons. Uh, we could, in fact, strangle a Klingon slave with it. Um, uh, we could put it on one of their corpses in mockery of their traditions. Uh, just, just spitballing ideas here. Um, I suppose they're, again... Nicely made if you're into Klingon foppery. And I'm sensing a theme, by the way. Is there, well, I, I'm what is getting, the next I'm getting Klingon a hint of thing? That. Well, next thing we have... Oh, this is actually from our universe. This is a Mirror Universe Tribble. <laughs> yes! The most evil and vile of all pets. <laughs> Look at its ferocity. This is not your puny Prime Universe Tribble. <laughs> this is a killer. I suppose, in a way, this loot crate has been worth it, if only for this. This could destroy any Klingon it ever saw, then multiply into more and destroy more Klingons, then multiply into more and destroy still more Klingons. And destroy their puny empire. Yes. Uh, it has a fierce uh, blood red and black fur, uh, indicating its, uh, its uh, clear 
deadly nature. It's already spattered in a blood-like manner as if to predict its future bloodletting. Uh, fine uh, plush uh, teeth simulating the real thing. Uh, it's the kind of thing I can easily see cuddling up with at night in my mirror bed. Yeah, you definitely want one of these as a pet. Uh, let's see, what, what does the packaging say of it? Mary Universe Triple Tips. Ah, I may read on. Now this might be useful information. Mary Universe Tribbles are typically cranky and always ravenous. That fits so far. They snap at most humanoids except Klingons, whom they adore. What? This is good information. This is good information. We will use it to conquer others, but not the Klingons, assuming this plush box to be correct. And since our own records are so often edited by the Emperor and his council of advisors, uh, who knows what's true? <laughs> this is probably true. It says it on a package. Yeah, we, on... we do have a lot of fake news in the in the <laughs> mirror universe. It's it's what gets us by. <laughs> Says It goes on to say, most Federation worlds ban the import and sale of Mirror Universe triples. Check local laws. Now, I presume they speak of the Prime Universe. Yeah, and their terrible Federation. I, I, the, what great laws they have that ban these beautiful creatures. Even though I do feel betrayed by our universe's triples if they love Klingons. Uh, that is true. That is true. Perhaps we can whip this one into shape and teach it fighting capabilities. We'll get to work on that. It's final. The final uh, bit of information here it says use extreme caution when feeding. Cumix, that's Q M X, is not responsible for lost limbs. Are these the makers of this delightful uh, toy? They are. Q M X. I don't know. I what think that, that means quantum mechanics. It must surely be. Um. Uh, there's an, also an admonition on the front to keep away from food, pet, and kids. Clearly a prime universe admonition, as those are exactly the sorts of things that it should be devouring in ours. I plan to throw this into a closet full of pets and kids and uh, see that the strongest survives. Let us film that and show that to our viewers. <laughs> that yeah. would be a truly a worthy Krampus Noct. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment if you want to see that. That's how they talk in the Mirror Universe. Yes, yes. Like and subscribe. Comment below. <laughs> so what else do we have? Is there anything more? This is a Starfleet Badge Captain pin from Star Trek Discovery. What is Star Trek Discovery? Uh, that is a terrible show that has our beautiful empire be defeated by some prime universe do-gooders. Oh right, I've seen I've seen reruns of that. It does have the uh, uh, the glorious empress in it though, and uh, the beautiful Captain Killy. So it's not without merits, but uh, but still they they've highly propagandized it. Yes, yeah, so that is not how that would go down. Um, Still, I suppose we could uh, melt this down as some sort of slag and use it for a uh, primitive bolt thrower weapon. Um, uh, perhaps it could be given a, for the for our mirror triples to teeth on. Just anything that would desecrate it. Now, it appears we have emptied out their loot crate, but they have, they have left propaganda materials within. There are there are cards and perhaps stickers. Another filthy Klingon piece of. Filth. Uh, a decal of their Empire logo. Take it away! This is for something called Star Trek Online. Is it a, is some sort of training uh, universe where one can go in to learn to battle and destroy one's enemies? It has a redemption code on it. Redemption? That's the last thing I want. <laughs> Take it away. And then last, and probably least... This appears to be some type of informative piece of paper describing Mission Crate 2. Is that what we just received? They didn't even send us the first one. They gave us the second one. Pathetic. But it's just uh, an inventory of all of the merchandise we received. Well, they did send everything on this list, much of it heinous and vile to my eyes. Um, I suppose what we can use this list for is uh, uh, we should kill one of them for every uh, heinous item that was not uh, a murderous triple on this list. So this could be our checklist for vengeance. 
Right. So we uh, of the items listed on here, we'll go through one by one. First, we have the uh, statue of the wharf, a filthy Klingon. Uh, someone needs to die for that. I will say his his metal belt is somewhat attractive. Yeah, I would totally wear that. It looks like you could uh, pass that off for a popular fashion we, in the mirror universe. We could travel to the future. We can kill this wharf, take his belt, come back to our time, and be very stylish. Then there's the beautiful mirror universe triple. Again, possibly making all the rest of these vile items worth it. Then we have the Klingon socks. Murder worthy. Also the Klingon emblem badge. Worthless. Hateful, vile, uh, hurtful even. <laughs> the Klingon sticker. Basically the same thing as a badge, but as a sticker instead of a badge. So somehow even more worthless. There's no, no utility to that. I could perhaps put it, again, mockingly, on the corpse of a Klingon. And the Star Trek Discovery badge pin. Apparently it's a lapel pin. A lapel pin! Whatever a lapel is, apparently they're popular in the Prime Universe. Oh, and it's all on, like, a Starfleet pad. Oh, that's sort of neat. It looks like a little tricorder. Well... That was disappointing, except for the furry biter. Yes, but nothing deadly, no traps, no planned explosives. Uh, all in all, I would say a disappointment, but we did get a evil little mirror universe triple. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Huh, well, with that in mind, uh, perhaps we should uh, bring this uh, heinous season to a close. And, uh, um, uh, we'll, we must begin planning our own, uh, uh, return loot crate for them. But ours will be a crate of death. Yes. Let the Father Ian Dave of the Prime Universe know that we are unimpressed. And we, we swear in the name of the Emperor to return and have our vengeance one day. Indeed, indeed. And so, unto you this season we wish a vengeful Christmas. And a bloody new year.